know about me is that I, I, I feel like I've always been blessed with having great teachers, great mentors, people who are selfless. It really made a difference in my life, you know, so for me, I have to pay it forward. What I'm telling you is, is don't give up on your idea just because it becomes frustrating or you get to a point where you have like a block. Take a break. Use your techniques. Trust your training. So how long has this session been going? Oh, since 9. So it's uh, 3 o'clock right now. Supposed to be going 9 to like 4.30 or whatnot. Uh, Claire is in there right now. Come My name is Claire Mulvaney and I am a student here at Tri-C and I'm actually just a music student but we got presented the opportunity when Terrence Blanchard came here to compose for a film and I've always been interested in writing music, songwriting, um, and composition so I thought I'd give it a shot. My project's really unique because my directors asked for French jazz which I have never composed for before <laughs> um, but it was just a fun challenge to do all of the background research and what do I have to make this sound like, what kind of instrumentation is used, how do I put this all together. Um, it's been a lot, but the unique part about mine, as opposed to some of the other projects, is that it's all live instrumentation. There's no MIDI instruments or anything like that, so it's a lot of studio time, a lot of help from a lot of um, generous people. <laughs> so, <laughs> exhibit A. <laughs> well, it's not built in a day. Whatever, uh, well, any other cliche you can throw in there about it taking a lot of people and a lot of time. The film department here is doing some really great work. You know, some really heavy stuff and high level stuff. People think that it's a third world issue, but it's really a prevalent problem here in the United States and particularly here in Ohio. Bell had presented the idea of working on a film towards social issues, more specifically human trafficking, and I wanted to jump on that project because it was something that I really wanted to help with, uh, get it out there. I wanted to be a part of this production for a few reasons. One of them was the fact that this is a very prevalent problem, and I think that a lot of people don't realize how frequently it's happening in this country, especially in the state and in Toledo specifically, and even in Northeast Ohio. Um, and also because I think that Belle is a very skilled filmmaker, especially when it comes to Thank women's you. issues. And Thank I you. think that she has a really excellent way of portraying these women and kind of the psychological effects that this causes for people. It's totally amazing. I would have never thought in a million years that this level of our education and our um, filming that we would have the opportunity to work with um, Terrence Blanchard, who was a, a Grammy-winning um, film composer and working with students here at Tri-C, and particularly our composer, whose name is Anthony Tadeo. Um, he, I mean, he's just amazing. He's very easy to work with. He, um, he really listened to the feeling and the emotion that we wanted to come across. Basically, the way that we approached it was Belle had told me to kind of come up with the ideas musically first, and then that she wanted to edit some of the video like according to whatever I composed. So that was cool. I basically got an idea of the arcs and the timing of certain things that she had in mind and then I was able to edit it recently to, to kind of make sure it all fit up a little bit nicer. And obviously Terrence Blanchard being the utmost of professionals was able to shed some light on some little things that I could do to try and make it even better than, you know, I'd, I'd thought or even, you know, because I, I had some preconceived ideas of what I could do, but he, he knows all the tricks and the ins and outs, and so it was, it was really cool to pick his brain about that. When you see people who come to school with a passion for learning, man, it, it, it gets my juices flowing because, you know, they have a passion for a reason. There's something that they're trying to say. There's something that they're trying to express, you know, and I'm here to help them find a way and give them the tools to do that. First time I met Mr. Blanchard, it was uh, it was during the first kind of film uh, film and composer meeting. He came in and he spoke about his theory about sound and it made a lot of sense. And to have him talk to us about his process, um, it was 
it was it was it was humbling. I think I'll run into problems, you know, recording and trying to go about about it as official as Tracy and Terrence Blanchard has, but I think the the process is ingrained in my head enough to where my next film is definitely gonna have a composer of some sort. Has to. <laughs> I love teaching. I mean, I'm a performer, obviously, you know, first. Uh, that's what my first love is. But, you know, I, I love, you know, working with students because also I learn, you know, things are changing in this world all the time. Technology has been changing. You know, the, the equipment that you guys are using for this interview here has changed a great deal just in the short period of time that I've been in this business, you know, and to stay abreast of that stuff you need to deal with the youth. Our Blakey always used to say that about us when we were in his band. He said it kept them young. And he said when we got too old, he was gonna get some younger ones. So I love teaching because it keeps me on, a t on my toes. It's been, it's been really great, you know. Uh, it's cool watching the entire process going from talking about the projects to actually seeing them now. But to be in a position where you could point out certain things. I just left one student. We were talking about uh, some scenes and how the energy would change in certain scenes and how the characters, emotions would change and how the music can reflect that. And it was it's really cool when you say stuff like that and you see the light bulb go off in his eyes. He's like, oh, right, right. And it's that aha moment that I love about teaching because you know I know what that did for me you know, when I first got in the music business. And, uh, when, when I see that in a student size, I get excited about when I come back to see what's changed and how they've grown. <laughs> 